feel go back to Octagon is feel feel always good. Fight week is always it's always hard because uh, have to make weight. Yeah. Have to eat it it's it low and yeah. drink a lot. <laughs> a lot of nervous. Yeah, always always the same. But I'm enjoying. Are you feeling the uh, the weight cut already? Yeah, my weight cut is good. Yeah. Perfect. And uh, uh, yeah, everything going everything going my plant plants. Talk about the uh you know bouncing back coming back after uh, the last fight against justin obviously you had been on this incredible six fight win streak not a guy who uh, loses very much obviously what's it like uh rebounding after a tough fight <clears throat> yeah it's lost is lost i i don't i not get what i want but uh i will i already forget about it this is go for my experience this is good experience. This is uh, I learned from this from this fight a lot, mm. and uh, yeah, just now I have next opponent. I have next guy. Yeah, and I have. Uh, what did you learn? Fun. Yeah, what did you learn as you now uh, attempt to make a run at the the belt? I learned how to cook good humble humble pie. Mm. <laughs> I'm joke. I'm joke. Uh, yeah, <laughs> learn what I learn. Like um, I'm learn like what? Not follow my fire inside of me. Not follow emotions. Not follow the arena. And uh, yeah, follow the game plan. Because on this fight, I forget about everything. Like oh, if I I hear arena, how arena screaming, and uh, I want to I want to more and more. Okay, I want action more, and I go forward. Like forget about gameplay. Wow, I've heard a lot of guys say that recently. That I, I know, um, Aljamain Sterling said something similar about uh, his fight against uh, Sean O'Malley. That the audience and it, it made him uh, change his game plan around. Yeah, but... it's work sometimes because we are fighting where we are wanna where I wanna more <laughs> always more screaming and more when people like the moment in the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what, what about Gamrod? Obviously a guy that's, uh, you're ranked sixth, he's ranked seventh. He's somebody who is very highly uh, thought of inside the division. What uh, challenges does he present? It's a big challenge. I just want I want to know, I want to know, I cannot not stop, uh, stop elite wrestler and elite grappler like him. Uh, because I believe he's, uh, <clears throat> he's a, uh, one of the best in this division, the top three. I don't know. Doesn't matter. He like he one of the best in a wrestler and grappler on this this division. Yeah. I think. And uh, if I can stop him, can defend his takedown, can stay stand up, can can win the fight. I believe I can. I can take this belt. Yeah. What do you think? And two more for you, uh, Rafael. What do you think a win here will get you? What should it get you? Uh, beating a guy as good as Gamrot, um, do you get a guy who is top three? I mean, who who would you want to fight after a win here? I don't think about it. I just have next guy. Hmm. You know, sometimes we, sometimes we, everybody in this in this division, oh, everybody maybe in UFC. Uh, yeah. Sometimes too much thinking about rankings, too much thinking about numbers. Yep. Too, but. That's why that's why sometimes divisions is, is a stop, you know, top five staying and fight top five with top five. That's it. So I don't think I don't think about next one, like top three, top something. I just want to fight next after. Last one, when you imagine how the fight plays out, is there a way that you see yourself winning? Is it is it a, a quick stoppage? Is it a decision? How do you see yourself winning this fight? Also, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because uh, if it's the, if this fight going to five round all distance, I'm happy because I'm 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 like I like to stay in the cage, uh, and uh, if if I, if I can if I have if I have chance some finish him, I try to use that. So doesn't matter how, but I want to win.